And so in that spirit, I first want all of you to know and assist me to welcome, I, uh, I have an amazing co-host today, one that many of you know, the one, the only Kenneth Ballard, he'll be joining me in just a moment here as we really join and dive into the miracle energy that is actually happening right now. And we want to hear from you. Talk to us. Tell us about your miracles. Tell us how it's going for you this week. Jump into the conversation with Ken and I, of course, many soul reading requests. And I want you to get in there. You're going to have to get in right away because I know the lines are going to fill up fast. Uh, so you can go ahead and give a call to 888-627-6008. That's 888-627-6008 over at BBS Radio. If you're catching us live, live means you're listening to us Tuesday nights at 5 p.m., and of course, everywhere else, Wednesday nights. And here we are live again at Oneness Talk Radio. I'm going to go ahead and start that call board right now. And there we are. You can go ahead and give a call right in over to Oneness Talk Radio at 517-208-1500, 517 To all of you that are joining us live, everywhere that you are listening, chatting, supporting Soul Mirrors, Thank you. We love you with all our heart. Indeed, we are at that moment, are we not? Where we are each our soul's mirror. And this moment in February, th this is a moment where right now I, I could put up all of the ascended numerology again. We could talk about everything that's been going on. However, the bottom line right now is where your heart is mirroring. Remember that the, the energy of February at its essence is the high heart. And what has just happened, what we all just went through is that this beautiful moment is going to come in. Mercury, this retrograde, this up level is happening this week. We're being pulled direct is the only way I can describe it. Literally, you're being pulled direct. You're being made uh, visible. You are coming out. You will see the mirror because the dates, the ascended numerology is coinciding that the nine is mirroring the nine. So if you choose to really say yes to the absolute expanded presence of your divine self, you are literally mirroring your own presence a rare opportunity. This is, this is so momentous, it's hard for me to find the words to share with you. But imagine that, you know, as January was the first of that concentric cycle, remember this is a, a year of 12 cycles that are concentrically coming together. And this first series, this first infinite spiral is getting ready to complete itself. And Mercury is coming direct right into it, basically smashing into that all seeing eye, the center and saying, who are you? Who are you really? And are you ready to not go backwards? Because we vibrate, we say yes, and then we hold our breath. We have that moment where everything we've ever dreamed of appears and we freak out. We run into self-sabotage so often that we justify it and find new words for it. And we are living in a world right now where it is only the, the, the I mean, literally the free fall of trust is the only thing that's gonna get you through. And that free fall of trust I'm talking about is into you, into really saying yes and manifesting and moving forward with what you are free falling into. This is a moment to be celebrated. This is a moment where with every breath, we become more of that which we are. Take a moment right now and bring a hand to your heart. Just bring a hand to your heart. And as you bring your hands to your heart right now, breathe in. Breathe in that beautiful ignited Ave Sa breath. Let's, and if you don't know what that is, it means we breathe in the energy of Ave through our nose, hail, and we exhale the infinite Sa, and then we smile. And so we breathe in Sa. And the smile is really important. This is the energy 
that sustains you, not in fifth dimensional presence, in seventh dimensional presence. This is the energy that says, I am ready to receive, thereby I release all, which means judgment disintegrates. And that of course begins with the judgment of self. As we are being pulled direct this week, as Mercury is saying, hello, you ready? Because this dance has been a big one, right? This has been a, a, such a profound moment for humanity. If you've been tracking with us all month long, and I know most of you have, and thank you for doing so. Sincerely, we are better together. Every week has been its own concentric energy within this incredible January, February weaving that's very much like, you know, it, it just feels like the trampoline, like this, okay, we've got you. It's the safety net. We know you guys are up here on the high wire, but don't worry, we've got you. We've got you. And so this is the moment of the free fall. It's the moment to say yes. And the moment you do say yes, we are being gifted with an opportunity to harness unlimited, I mean, unlimited crystalline co-creative energy. Imagine that you are the zero point generator. I mean, let go of it having to be anywhere else except right here. Does it not make sense? Let's just kind of follow this, right? Sequentially. Does it not make sense that if we have arrived collectively in the uh, true state of awakened awareness and heightened consciousness that we absolutely know we're in a Groundhog Day experience right now, that we absolutely know. It's like, hey, the next time we wake up, are you going to remember? Are you going to remember? What are going to be the signs along the way? What will be the things? What will be the seeds we're going to leave? Because we're only going to have this much of a window to really do the right thing. Guess what, guys? Window open window open. The universe sent COVID and, 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 and it could have been any other id. It doesn't matter how density coagulated. That's irrelevant. As a matter of fact, it's, it's being preoccupied with that that's pulling a lot of people away. The gift is we know it, it's here, we take action, we expand. You know it, it's here, you take action, you expand. You know it, it's here. You take action, you expand. The cross of perfect balance has ignited. And when we say yes to our inner guidance, when we start really trusting that voice, the first thing that happens is that we often wonder if we are crazy and we are, we are in our own world of being tested. You know, so often we talk about, oh, you're going to get this test and that test, whatever. What if every test was just your own subconscious going, really? Are, you know, who's stronger here? Your conscious or your subconscious? That's all that is. It's a battle. The universe isn't making it hard. We are. <laughs> we make it hard ourselves. And what makes it even more interesting is that we've agreed to be in this experience of density in an aligned moment. And, I, and again, remember, we're going through this little line here because if we, if we accept everything that has been shared so far and we honestly own that we are lineage holders, then we know that we chose to be here. So up to this point, there's not even a debate. So now that we know we're here, now that we know we're in that moment where, hey, do you remember, do you remember, do you remember? What wouldn't you do? What, you know, people ask me often, they're like, Kira, don't you ever get tired? And the answer is I do for a moment. And then I remember, what wouldn't I do? You know, sleeping is optional at some point for me, at least. And I'm not inviting it to be optional for anyone. What I am sharing is that what is illuminating you right now? What, what is propelling you with every breath to say, you know what? 
if we are eternal beings, then why can't we demonstrate this in form? Why not? Why not? It's about allowing and inviting the consciousness to expand beyond the limitations of our own limitation. <laughs> to say yes. And, and do you feel the beautiful tingling? Do you all feel that? Just of my entire um, crown chakra is just tingling. And as you, as you feel this beautiful tingling energy, as, as you feel this illumination, stay here with me in this moment of ascended presence in this illuminated energy, because the world of density right now is really big on fear plus anger. And you know, I'm quoting Archangel Zodkiel here, right? One of Zodkiel's most basic formulas, fear plus anger equals hate. And right now, that formula that Archangel Zodkiel shared with us all those years ago and said, look, when the planetary thought body starts radiating this much fear, here are the action steps because this much fear unchecked will lead to this much anger. And when these two dance together, the hate is born and then it bounces, you know, hate just kind of floats all over and it's very sporadic and it has lots of ways of manifesting. And what's so fascinating is that in the moment right now, when hate has its moment, it affects everything. Thereby, it, it finds its way of floating upon yeah. that river that dances between being conscious or not. And so when we find ourselves preoccupied with that which seeks to stop us from accelerating. Whether we know it or not, we're dipping into the river of fear plus anger equals hate. And even if you think you're only witnessing it or you're just looking at it from a distance, if your eyes are focused there, then they're not focused here. And imagine with your eyes on the divine at all times, at all times, Imagine what you see when you are able to be present with everything that river is and to assist it, to remember itself, to say yes, to self-clean, to see the beauty that is still there. That is the moment that we are in right now. And we are loved so much that when we pay attention, as what's happened in February, right? When we pay attention, everything that's lining up for the WWA Global Summit in March, and I pray you're going to be there, www.global.com, get there, be there. Everything's leading up to that. And all of the things that have been happening here, we know are happening not just for here, for all of us. We all should be screaming this from the mountaintops and we are screaming out for help. Help us get the word out about the WWA Global event. If you can help us get the word out, help us get the word out. This event means a lot for humanity. And as we have been preparing, as we have been saying yes, one of the magical gifts that has happened in real time in this community has been the way that the Shield of Zodkill reemerged. The Shield of Zodkill has been in front of us the entire time. Shri and I, it's down. If you were with us at Avesa this past weekend, we showed you it's been hanging in our healing room. We always have it there. And how it reemerged right now and the way that it has come forward and the energy of the way that, that this all seeing eye, this zero point energy, this ignition of the Taurus field, that when we, we, when we stay in that, when we are sustained in that Taurus field, when that zero point energy is pumping through us, we are, you know, we are the lotuses blooming. We are everything that is coming forward. And so in this moment right now, the shield of Zodkill was offered to the all. And, and many have said, why do we need protection? 
And Zodkill's answered this so beautifully, and, and I, it's bringing me to our, our beautiful co-host this evening as well. The shield is a call. It's, it's that beautiful reminder that said, okay, as we, as we come to completion, right, on this journey, we left these seeds. And when we were in these moments where we all come together, to drop the ego, to evolve beyond where we have ever evolved before, then of course we are the zero point generators. Of course we are the law of instantaneous manifestation. Our consciousness is even beyond the time it was of Atlantis. The only thing that's different is we've just forgotten how to command who we are, but that gift has been restored as well. So what's standing in the way? Gray matter attachment to density fear plus anger equals hate is a very fascinating journey until we break free and trust who we are and so before we go any further i want to first take a moment and i know that probably all of you tuning in know my amazing co-host this evening someone that is so dear to my heart someone that I adore, that I have now known, I think we're in our 11th year together of divine dancing in the divine. And one of the gifts that this beloved angel brings is something that he coined as soul speak. And I'm gonna let him talk about it because it's why he's here tonight, because this is a moment where our souls need to be speaking, where the energy of the ascended presence of the yoga of self-ascension is bridging the all and bringing us all together. And so without further ado, I, all the way over from Thailand, I'd like to bring in my beloved co-host this evening, the one, the only Kenneth Ballard. Hey, beautiful angel, welcome. Namaste, beloved Kara. It's good to be with you again. Everything oh. you've said so far, I say yes. Hmm. Oh, well, thank you, sweetheart. And hey, what, what time is it for you in this world of form? It's about 8.15 in the morning tomorrow for you. Wonderful. I, I always love when we're on together that we hold open this bridge, right? Th this beautiful day-night balance. It, it's just, it's always so fabulous. Now, I know, Ken, we're going to have to come back. We're, we're going to go forward to come back because I know everybody's going, oh my God, what is that behind Ken? So Ken, first and foremost, you just have to talk about what's going on behind you because it's like so beautiful. And so you are the middle, the center, the emanation. So share my angel. Yes, this is the shield of Zadkiel that you shared with us first on the Mastery Mentor Miracle Team call. And I know I told you I was totally stunned from the very moment you shared it. And since that moment, Archangel Zadkiel has been guiding me unerringly, guiding my hand in my heart as the one heart. And this uh, shield, as you said to me, is a shield of empowerment. I believe as you do, protection is, protection is part of the illusion. Do we ever really need protection? You know, we let go of the polarization. We move into the ascended presence. We let go of fear, anger, hate doubt, distrust, and then what's left, it's us, it's our love. You asked me one day about truth and I, you and I had a soul speak conversation and I sense that uh, truth is one of the easiest things on the planet to define. Mm. Truth is light and truth is love. And that's it. And this shield in this moment that give, you've gifted us with is a clarion call. This shield, I feel, is to be shared with the whole planet. Agreed. 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 Well, taking a breath, and, and I think all of us, you know, I want to first kind of thank you that what, what happens is that we, you and I have been on this journey of incredible, I mean, we're like, it, it's so funny, you and I, I think we've been through a couple lifetimes together, don't you? It's, you know, yes. over the past, really, it's like, okay, so that 
experience is complete and this experience is complete. And that's one of the, the gifts of the dance that, that we weave together is, is very much this experience of when masters dance, we up level together, you know, and this is such a beautiful playground to do that in. So as we have been doing that, Ken, I wanted to just share with everyone before we go deeper tonight, because one of the reasons that, that Ken is here is of what he's doing with the shield and how he was called to do it. And also to, to really talk a little bit about, talk about our soul speak. What is that? What is that? What is, what is happening when, when you and I, and this is basically a reading. So Ken invites a reading and yet they have this energy of what he is calling soul speak. And let, let's talk about that because it really is a beautiful gift that's been evolving. Yes, uh, this is the 11th year of our soul speak together. And for me, soul speak is when two hearts become one. When we're totally in love and we're totally in the light and we speak of that which is love and light and that we move through these dimensions. Uh, last time you and I had one of these soul speaks, we said, there's no definition to this dimension we're at right now. It's like the dimensions are almost moving to the point where they're beyond de definition because of the octave of the soul speak that we've evolved together. It's all about love. It's all about the light, our soul speaks. Well, thank you for sharing that. And I know that the gift that we're all experiencing right now is this opportunity to really be creating miracles through this energy. And I, again, you know, I really want to share with all of you that we are at this moment that is unlike any other, that as our consciousness continues to expand, the all is expanding as well. And this is so important because when we say yes to the tools, when we employ them, when we listen to that, which is within, and then we can put together all of the gifts that are being placed before us, the miracles happen. And this happened just now, just very recently when Ken and I were together. And, and Ken, let's chat about how this unfolded and, and what's going on with the shield, because you, you started writing me and saying, Kira, you need to know what's going on with the shield. And, and here's what I'm doing. And I was like, yeah, I want to know what's going on. What are you doing? So Ken, what's going on? What are you doing? Uh, I, I was guided by Archangel Zadkiel uh, to print out as many copies as I could. And uh, what I did was I began with Sam. Guidance said, so the first thing you're to do is to do an empowerment with Sam. And yes, an empowerment around the virus. And uh, yes, an empowerment about all of it, because it's not only this virus that in Thailand we call CBD-19, it's the virus of all those words you spoke about. It's a virus of hate. It's a virus of anger and fear. It's a virus of distrust and doubt. That's all part of the virusing. The virus itself is a reflection of that. And you've brought forward the shield for us to share on the planet in a way that empowers all. So what I've done, I began with Sam. He has a copy, as you've seen, of uh, both both the propeller with Archangel Zadkiel and just the, just the shield. And I sat with Sam heart to heart and we both held the shields and I asked him to open his heart and allow the shield into his heart and allow it to begin spinning in a clockwise direction. And it spun quicker and quicker and quicker. And for it to simply dissolve anything that could be of the virus, whether it's the CVD-19, whether it's the virus of fear. And Sam is a uh, pretty much without content, which means he's pretty much without fear. No fear, no doubt. And so what happened is he was illuminated with it and he had to go, he had to go lay down and he said, all of the colors of the shield, they're spinning through my whole body. And I know, I know that this has been a huge gift as what I will call, if you, if you, if I may, an inoculation against mm. this virus and all viruses. 
the yeah, virus I feel- mm. You know, Ken, I just want to share, I'm really feeling, and my hands are on fire. Are your hands on fire, everybody? My I mean, my hands, hands on fire. are on fire right now. And yes. thank you. I mean, wow, 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 wow. I'm just like, wow, this is really quite beautiful. The, the, I want to, I want to expand what you're sharing and, and, and dive into this with you because the reason I'm smiling and sharing about this inoculation is it's consciousness. Consciousness is the inoculation. And, you know, Sri, my beloved husband, wisdom teacher, Sri Ranka, he has been tracking consciousness forever, forever. And I mean, he really has to finish this research and get it out there. It's so groundbreaking. But the one thing he's been saying all along is that you hold the level of consciousness. This virus was created at a level of consciousness. It doesn't, if, if it meets, you know, people have tracked everything about this virus as far as contagion, except consciousness. And it's like, we're our own science experiment. And, and we did have a one momentary scare where every single person that lives here was exposed and not one of us got it, not one. And yet there were others who were with this person that was traced that we had to get a test because that were in close quarters they all got it. And the difference was levels of consciousness. And so it, it really is. And what you're sharing this inoculation is because what my heart experiences, and you double check me on this, you fact check me. What my heart is experiencing is that that shield is an instantaneous consciousness expander. And that's why it's happening that way. That your resonance was because your consciousness was ready to go stable. I wanna be stable in this expanded experience of consciousness. And in that, I carry the invincibility of the infinite presence of that which I am. I mean, it's like almost mind blowing to comprehend because it's true. It's just like when you can when you can get the ultimate smile of this, the incredible blessing of this. And so, Ken, how's that resonating? Am I am I full of it or am I on it? Where where are you at with this? You're at about a thousand percent right now. Mm. Uh, it's amazing. It's uh, every word you say is 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 very resonant with me. It's how I'm gifting the shield to people. Uh, I, I think it's really good since most of us are visual. We have eyes to be visual, right? Uh, with this shield, the people I've started working with, which are a lot of the kids that Sam plays soccer with and his golf buddies, everybody, there's no question, you know, they're Thai. And Thais are all about yes as well. I live in yes country. And everybody receives a shield. I tell them to carry it at all times. So uh, tell us something. Slow down. So you started this project where you're you're distributing the shield. So you, what are you what are they actually getting when they receive the shield? Uh, let's see if it'll show up. Well, that's I up love that it's disappearing. <laughs> I love yeah, it. It's no. a disappearing and appearing shield, but uh, they love get it. a a size that they can carry. I, I've got them being laminated right now, a size that's small enough to carry as well, nice. though. The second, I've got it back here, but the photo with Archangel Zadkael, with the propeller, that full photo, holding the absolute uh, personification of the sword of truth. So they get both photos and they understand what the shield is. And, you know, I'm speaking to people who don't speak the same language we do in a second language already. And so the idea is they open to receive and that's what I tell them, open and receive. Right. Place it and into the innermost chambers of the heart. The you, and, and you so, mentioned to me something about the temples as well. You were bringing shields to the temples or talk to us about that. No, it, 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 it's exactly what's happening right now as I'm lam- laminating all these shields. A couple have gone into the temples uh, in relation to the Buddhas, in relation to Kuan Yin. And I know it's best, they'll, they'll have a duration if they're laminated. So that's happening now. And Sam and I, as you know, go on our temple walkabouts twice a week. And I'm planning for these shields to be at all the temples in Thailand and the North that I visit. And it's already mm-hmm. begun. And people, they'll either take them or they'll be awestruck by them or whatever happens, the shield will have its own life in these sacred temples. Exactly. Well, Ken, you know, one of the things that you and I had talked about, and I hope all of you are as excited about this as we are, is Ken, 
let's start a worldwide shield placement campaign. Uh, Shri and I are going to place the artwork uh, as our gift to the world on treeandcare.com where people can download high res PDFs in the aspect ratios that are, that are needed and then send us pictures. Where are you placing the shield? Where is this energy? Where are we assisting to just radiate this energy that is inviting those who, who connect with it or feel it to perhaps for the first time begin to feel who they are. And um, you know, all we ask is that they print it with the, the copyright attachment on it as it is printed in it. And Ken, you wanna champion this for us? You wanna champion this program? Uh, I, I certainly will say yes and see what happens as it goes along. You'll guide me with your guidance. Oh, absolutely. I feel like a absolutely. champion of it already. And so yeah. please guide me with that. Well, you know, I feel there's a radio show in this called The Shield <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens there. I'm just having some fun with you. But you know, Ken, I want to go ahead and if you don't mind, let's invite in some of these beautiful beings that have been waiting to call in and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to jump over to the call board over at Oneness Talk Radio and we're going to start over in New Jersey and I'm going to say hi to New Jersey. Hey, New Jersey, welcome to the show. Oh my gosh, namaste. Hey. I, I'm so excited to speak with you. And every time I hear your voice, Kara, I just smile because you are so inspirational and, and motivational. And everyone on this call, we are all blessed to be in your presence. And we uplift when you uplift. And I just want to express my gratitude, love, and appreciation for all that you bring forth because it's just, I hang on every word because I feel like there's a healing and it's encoded with the highest vibration. And I just wanted to express my gratitude for that. And I have tears of joy. And I just, I, I'm, I'm right along, my, like my soul is like walking next to you and, um, and Sri and Ken as you speak. And I would like to have a um, mini soul reading if possible, please. Oh, sweetheart, of course. <laughs> so, you know, the first thing I want to share with you, oh, Angel, the first thing I want to share with you is that as, as you were sharing, there's like this right here, it's on the inner side of the physical heart. I'm feeling this, it, it's interesting. It's just like a, like a, a tightening. And, it's, and as you're speaking, like, like the radiation has all of the joy, but this tightening actually comes out the back as well. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is that they're saying, it's like, it's like there's this very, 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 very subtle old voice that is pulling you. And what's so fascinatingly perfect and what I love, especially that you're our first caller today, is that as Mercury is pulling us literally direct, this is showing itself. And so it's not gonna stop you but it is trying to slow you down. And so the mm -hmm. gift, the reason that you got through this evening and the reason you're our first caller and the reason that you were sharing the way you were is these beautiful, I mean, gorgeous beings that are all around you right now. They just keep saying right back at you. Like everything mm -hmm. that you shared about me, I'm just right back at you. You're yes. talking about you. We are as I am. It is that moment of the soul mirror expression to really honor you. And Ken, I know I see you with your hand on your heart. Is there anything you'd like to share? Just that I know that freedom beyond your wildest imaginings is right there one heartbeat away. And I would love to see you take the shield and use it as a three-dimensional shield and spin it in your heart chakra and do it as a practice, do it a number of times a day, allow that shield, you know, our chakras front to back, they're multi-dimensional, spin it in a multi-dimensional manner through your heart chakra. Mm. Thank you. Love you, honey. Thank you. Uh, I love you. Thank you so much. It's absolutely beautiful. I have tingles. 
all up and down. I felt the energy, the heat is so profound and I express my gratitude. Thank you so much. Oh, we love you, Angel. Namaste. Many blessings. I love you too. Namaste. <laughs> Bye, honey. Oh, Ken, my angel, how are you doing? I'm so happy. My heart's singing. Yeah, my, my heart is singing too. And you know, I want to go back and, and really chat more about the energy and the presence of miracles and, and miracles in our lives. You know, we jumped right in. We're talking about the shield because it's behind you and it's captivating and you're captivating with it. And then something that I really want people to experience and understand is that your very presence is a miracle. You are a living miracle. And let's talk about that because in this moment of up-level majesty, all of us, all of us that are still here right now, that could have even very recently said enough, we keep saying yes to the up level. And in many ways, Ken, I believe the up level is the reason we're here. I don't even, I, I strongly feel that you and I are even in a different parallel than we were in Bhutan. That we, that Bhutan gave us the amplitude to shift it. It's, it's like we bumped one where we are still here. And this is a really fascinating timeline that we are in because going back to what I was mentioning earlier, we all chose to be here. And if we own that, and if we accept that, then we must own that in the awakened presence of who we are, who are we to doubt ourselves and keep limiting that which we need to do when the window we have to do it is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And because of that, it's as if, and see, as I'm sharing this right now, check, check me on this, right? I'm feeling everybody hold their throat, breathe, right? And that's exactly what I was just going to mention. It's you're activating the deepest, 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 deepest molecular memory of all the times this has not ended well. And that's why we keep planting the seeds. That's why the shield is here now. Look at how many that shield is going to activate. Just enough to, it's, it's, it, even, even if all they do is look at it once, whatever seed of divine, oh, this is that moment, hello, look at the gift. The more of us, and it doesn't matter about what, what that activates, it'll activate what your divine light self is here to activate. And so I bow before you saying yes and calling this forward in form. You were doing it before I even knew about it. You were like, I, it, this is the energy of action. This is the spiritual mastery of the moment that says, not only if not now, when, it was me and I did something about it. And it's feeling pretty amazing, right? I mean, since you've started doing this, you as the living miracle are experiencing more miracles. Or am I wrong about that? You're totally right about that. And I want to say it is time. This is the time for it to end well. It mm -hmm. really is the time for it to end well. Yes. yes. And, and, to, and to recognize for each of us to say, okay, that breath holding, that, oh my God, that sense of, well, and this is why so many people are addicted to conspiracy theory and why so many people are addicted to end of world stuff because you have experienced it more than once. And we're in a moment right now where we have the opportunity to really affect how this is going to end. And here's the hardest part, Ken, is people are still complacent. It's like, dude, it's time. You know how you waited your whole life, you know how you've been studying, you know how you've been doing with this one and doing with that one? It's now, and that's been the greatest challenge. We are, as a collective species, complacent and, and want others to do things for us. When we actually, and, and I, I just have to smile because I know in my own experience and certainly in Shree's and I know in yours, Ken, when we remain active and, and in some respects more active than we've ever been, then the divine inspiration is so crisp, so clear, so focused and service is that it's just so much joyful than the inertia. You don't have time to give into that molecular piece that says, yeah, I know how this can end. Instead, you're 
putting your arms around that one and going, hey, don't worry, this time we remember. We've got it this time. And the first time that little boy says, you told me that last time, is the moment you can say, and that's why you should not be concerned because I am here now. I am here now. And we are all here by choice. And that is why the timing of the shield, everything that has happened in February, the equinox in March, that crystalline moment where we are putting that staff in the, in the heart of the world. And, and Ken, you're going to be joining us as part of the opening ceremonies, right? I am. Thank you. I am so excited. I am so excited. So for those of you that may not be aware, part of the opening ceremonies of the WWA global event is that we will have the big screen up here at Tosa Blue Mountain, where we will be receiving from around the world oneness partners linking up the entire planet live here with the opening of the Kanyari. And uh, Ken will be representing Thailand. I hope we're gonna have a Sam sighting that evening. Is it possible to get a Sam sighting tonight or is he somewhere else? He, he's, he's still asleep actually, because it's- Oh, oh, lucky. well, poor baby. <laughs> poor baby. <laughs> All right, well, you let him know at WWA, I know there's a lot of people that are gonna want a Sam sighting or at least a Sam, hello, how are you? And uh, because that, that's the gift, you know, we are, we are coming in live from all over the world. And, and Ken, you know, this is the gift is let's, let's, let's you and I partner on this. We'll get it out in all of our newsletters. We'll announce it on the air. Let's make this a project. Let's see how many shields we can get placed before the WWA Global. And all of you send us your pictures with where you're placing your shields. And Ken, you and I will weave together a little montage and present it at the WWA Global. Does that work? Yes. You know, the shield has become my sticky. You know, the breathe thank you sticky. Oh, I love it. The shield is the breathe thank you sticky for me now, which means it goes what? everywhere. And you, you, you talked about the people and everything that people listen to on the computer around conspiracy theory. I, uh, both places I have my computer, I can see the shield. Now I'm seeing six shields around me right now. Uh, Archangel and Kyle is right here with me as well. He, he disappears, but there he is. And, and for this to be, like you said, if people see it once, if they only receive the energy of this once. And part of my idea is to put 12, 15, 20 copies in each temple in the laminates. And they'll just be in a place where Thai people know if it's, if it's in a place like this, it's okay for us to receive it. And so I'm hoping it's going to go out to play. I'm not, I'm hoping, I know it will go out to places because of its energy and its strength and its potency and its beauty all over Thailand. It's gonna be all over Thailand and it's gonna be all over the world because in this conversation now, and you setting it up that people can print it out. I love to do the small photos, PDFs. It really is something for us to champion. Allow the shield to go around the world, around the I world. I love it. I love it. So this is our worldwide shield project that we're, we're going to continue, of course, but at the WWA Global, let's just make a date right now that we will present the montage. So Ken is also a phenomenal photographer. Can I say who, you, who you've been taking photos for for almost his entire career or can I not say that? I can say that. He is Alice Cooper's personal photographer, has been taking pictures of Alice for many, many years. They are very dear friends. He has some great photos. And uh, Ken, tell us about, uh, about your photography. And, and I am blessed to have one of Ken's beautiful books here. Oh my God. And uh, as a matter of fact, it graces our table in La Sala so that our guests have the opportunity to connect with it. Talk to us about that book and, and about Tibet and your journeys and wanderings there, because I can't help but believe that it's all of that energy, which is why that shield called to you because it really is a weaving of all the traditions. So one of the things that this shield has brought back to me is one of my most uh, endearing memories of Tibet. I was first in Tibet in 1982 and we would go into these rooms and there would be the protector room where the wrathful deities, the strongest, you know, the Kali deities, Yamantaka, Vajrapani, all were, 
And I was struck because I would look around the room and I would see swords and guns and bows and arrows. And I asked my guide, Chung La, who's my dear, dear friend to this day, what is this? And she said, when the Tibetan people took on compassion, love, and peace, these great warriors laid down their weapons and put them in the protector room so the protectors could use the weapons as weapons of the Dharma. This shield is a weapon of the Dharma. So yes. you know I have so many photographs. I love to photograph uh, Tibet. I'll be photographing, as you said, the places Sam and I go and place these temples. Photography for me, among other things, allows us to gain new eyes through which to see ourselves. And the visual representation of this shield is exactly that. Anyone who gazes on it will gain new eyes and a new heart through which to see and be themselves. I'm just breathing that in and receiving that gift. And my heart is just feeling this worldwide shield project, Ken. And, and I, I'm like just so there. And I'm, I'm seeing you taking these photographs. And, and that part of this journey for you is, the, is photographing the, the, the initiation in Thailand of this worldwide project. And all of you out there, please join us, send your emails to us, uh, write us over at support at selfascension.com. Sue will coordinate, we'll get all your emails together. And remember, you'll be able to print out the shield uh, and, and Ken is gonna be, following, we'll, we'll follow you. Ken, I'd love to have a picture at least every week to say, here's where, what's been going on with Ken and we'll yes. get everything coordinated again and then really birth it during the WWA event. How does that feel? That feels very good. That's a All big right. yes. All right. Well, how about a big yes to our callers? We have all these people standing by. I have someone that's had their hand up very patiently waiting and uh, another person in New Jersey. All right. We're going back to New Jersey with her hand up. Namaste. It looks like maybe Mercerville. Hi. Namaste. Namaste. Welcome, Angel. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. It's so wonderful to listen to your wisdom and uh, both of you speaking. Wonderful. Can you give me a mini soul reading? Of course we can. And so I want to invite you to just really take a moment and relax into your heart and, and really relax out of your head. As I'm connecting with you, I'm really feeling this energy of like, and it's right here, you know, it's like just right in this area. And it, it's just this energy of a crown that's just a little too tight. You know, it's like, okay, yeah. I'm wearing it, but it's just a little too tight. And so what, what was the honor becomes the burden. And what they're saying is it's time for you to lay your burden down. And remember okay. that as you lay that burden down and you relax from that, which would seek to keep you in the same response, let go okay. of the ego more smile ever wider and receive the universe. You've got this huge universal energy around you right now. And it's like, um, it's like it's breathing towards you, but it's meeting like this very thin, 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 but very durable, like a NASA space blanket of resistance, thin, but wow, enough. And so they're saying that, when you allow yourself the gift of really just laughing it out, they're saying that the okay. gift of laughter is what's waiting for you. And at the end of the rainbow, it is there. Ken, did you want to share anything else? Yeah, the words that come to me are don't look back. Mm. This is the time to be joyful, joyful as you've ever been in your life. And I also see you moving forward at warp speed. And I do mean warp speed. I can just feel your heart. Thank you. Thank you for the Thank gift that you Thank you, I love. We love you. Namaste. Namaste, sweetheart. Oh, Ken, thank you. Well, you know, when I just was sharing with her and I did mention the rainbow, 
Can we have a Dorothy moment? You can. Yeah, okay. So yeah. so when Ken and I were in our most recent Soul Speak, and I and I have to share with you, Ken, that it gets my heart because it it really it always touches me when I hear sharings like this. So Ken and I were in the middle of our soul speak and suddenly I'm throwing in all these references about the Wizard of Oz and Dorothy and specifically Judy Garland and on and on. And then you shared with me what had been happening that day, right? Yes. So five hours before our, our reading, uh, as you've told everybody, I've worked with Alice Cooper since 1973. And uh, there was a tour where he was a friend of uh, Judy Garland's. And there was a tour where he reprised her song, I'm Always Chasing Rainbows. And as I was making my offerings, it was the full moon day, the song came to me. And I told, I told you, beloved Kira, you know, all day, first Alice, and then I got online and found my mother loved Judy Garland. I loved The Wizard of Oz and Judy Garland as well. But I found the song of her singing I'm always chasing rainbows. And I told you, Kira, I feel my whole life, I've been chasing rainbows and I can't count. I lost count probably before I was a teenager, how many rainbows I've actually caught. Wow. Wow. What a beautiful gift. And to know it and to, and to know, know it. it. Yes. Well, and I love it. And so it was the first time in a soul speak, I had to take a picture of shoes. And so I brought my shoes with us today because I love these shoes. Uh, right. Me too. Because this was the first time I ever wore them. And now I can only wear them in certain occasions because they turned out to be a big part of the reading. And yeah. so I just wanted to share with everyone. This was why the whole Dorothy thing came in was that I was bringing out, I was talking to Ken and said, wow, you know, now I have to talk to you about the shoes and this is happening. So it does get a little wild when we say yes to our soul. Doesn't it though? It our shoes start speaking. What's that about Ken? I will. I would say Ruby slippers move over for these. Right. That's why that's why I was like, OK, this is cosmic Dorothy. I'm not going to Kansas, girl. <laughs> no, no. And you click those shoes and the ascended premise takes us up into the upwardly moving spiral of love unerringly and unceasingly. Exactly. I love exactly. that. Me too. And I just I just had to be playful and bring them in with us this evening and share them with you. And, and go ahead, honey. I just had one thought. So the Aura Please. Energy people, I have some of her masks. You, you connected yes. me to her. And why would she not being, be making masks with the shield on the front? I don't know. So let's make that happen. I love that idea. I do know that Shri and I are making some representations of the shield and they're gonna, it's going to be in some very prominent places here at Tosa Blue Mountain as well in a much bigger format. Uh, so yeah. there's, there's a lot of fun happening uh, with the shield. And that is the essence of Archangel Zodkill. You know, one of the things that's in that shield is, of course, the cosmic Isis energy, the energy of the eyes of Zodkill, excuse me, of Shiva, the energy now of the Ave Sa heartbeat. And when we put all of it together, and I just really want to own and share that you have been emanating it so beautifully all evening, joy is your measure. It's the signal from your soul. That is Archangel Zodkill. At the essence of Zodkill, it's about the smile is that which will break you free. It is about enjoy your fermented grape, dance in circles, and remember not to take it all so seriously. As we just had a reading right now, when we embody our smile, everything becomes a miracle. Ken, we have about 10 seconds or so. How would we like to wrap this up? What would you like to share with everyone? To always keep a smile in the innermost chambers of your heart, as well as on your face. In love and with aloha. Thank you, dear Kira. Oh, thank you, my beautiful Ken. And thank you for launching the Worldwide Shield Project. Join us, be a part of it. We're excited. There will be more details at treeandcura.com. Ken's gonna be sending us some awesome photos as well. And beloved angels, as Mercury's pulling you direct and we up level Friday, who's gonna be out there? Who is gonna be seen? I know the best version of you is the mirror of me. I love you with all my heart. 
Namaste. Thank you, Ken. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and be sure to tune in every Tuesday at 5 o'clock p.m. for more adventures. You can learn more about Master Lady Kira Ra at shriandkira.com or visit their YouTube channel, Official Shri and Kira. May your heart in all ways know the master you are.